This is Juliana Renicar Breeze, and this is part four with Pandozis. Got his name right, finally. And uh, he tells me to trust him because he's a, um, a, a mathematician, mathematician yes. not a magician. But uh, uh, yes, I'm beginning to wonder because there is an overlap, and I was married to a magician. Anyway, go ahead and tell me what your life's mission is. Well, many people still don't know what they want to do in life. I, however, I think I have found what I want to do in my life. First of all, is to stay here in the island Castellers, which is probably the beautiful place in the world for me. And then I want to make a puzzle museum here and to make the island become a puzzle island, a base where I can create with uh, other people, the young ones, uh, quality puzzles where we can um, show around the world, so other people can see. And I'm not talking about um, copies of puzzles that already exist. No, about new, new ones. New ideas. New, new ideas. Yes. So you're talking about the future, the next generation. Yes, because the island... So it's education. There can be educational, logical, it can be any type of puzzles. Uh, as long as uh, they um, ignite uh, the, the flame of the mind, they make you... Uh, expose you to um, uh, kind of uh, new mechanisms and uh, that's cre uh, that uh, mechanisms? Increases, what do you mean uh, increase creativity in some way ah yes uh, because uh, um, for the antikythera mechanism for example that was found uh, many years ago uh, it created a new wave of uh, people interested in both mathematics and uh, engineering and, and can that be linked in with it of course, there are many, many uh, puzzles related to IT, to mathematics, and many others, even psychology. S such as many what? Other si sciences. Psychology, physics, chemistry. Oh, you're including that in puzzles? Of course, of course. Uh, the Pythagorean Justice Cup, for example, is related to hydrostatics, is physics. You can call engineering as well. Uh, geometry, there's so many, so many different, uh, even psychology, you can see. Uh, 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 how, so, how so with psychology? Well, psychology has some problems, uh, um, uh, <laughs> about how you make choices, but sometimes the best choice is the one out of the box. Well, th think, thinking out, think, of think out, out of the box, of so, course, of uh, course. So, uh, I, I can be uh, I'm very general right now, but uh, uh, you get the idea. Um, uh-huh. So... Um, how are you going to educate these uh, children? Okay. Are, 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 you're not only talking about the children on the island, but obviously you're going to start with the children on the island. Well, uh, the island... Uh, because they have to go to roads, my God. Sometimes uh, not, not enough uh, um, teachers here. That's a yes. big problem. Uh, even when I studied, when I was in the primary school here in Castellorizo, I had to go to roads because... In the second grade and later, they were not, not, not teachers to, to do this. And, and how, many, how long? It's three hours, isn't it? Or three and a half hours? No, three and a quarter hours by boat. Yes. Uh, to, uh, back then, it was eight and a half hours. Oh, my God. One way. Yes. And there was no aeroplane at the time. Yes. So uh, the children have to stay in roads. Yes. Uh, and what in sp in a special special accommodation? Yes. Uh, back then, uh, my, my... No, no, now. Now, no, the, the family usually rents a, ha a house over there. Oh, I see. So it c can cost a lot of money. Yes. So, so there's a lot of toing and froing between here and roads. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is traditional. Even roads a long time ago used uh, Castel Lorizo, uh, the wine presses to, to bring wine. They, make, they were making uh, wine from the wine presses, lots of them, 50 wine presses around the island. And they were bringing the wine from Castel Lorizo to roads to distribute it there. Uh -huh. And this island has a perfect climate, not only for wine, but for to, just to stay here. And it used to be part of the Ottoman Empire yes, and uh, used to be part of cash. It used to be part... Uh, uh, tell me what uh, happened. Uh, because of that, the Greeks who were living here, they were saying, OK, uh, uh, please, uh, we'll pay the taxes you want, but let's, uh, let us trade. Castellorizians were the best tradesmen in the area. They were bringing even from Sri Lanka things or other places. Uh, they, they were amazing. And they had one of the best, um, uh, let's say, um, uh, um, collection of ships. Uh, that uh, were, what period are we talking about? A uh, hundred years ago. A hundred? Okay. And now the, the, we only, there's only small boats. But during that time, there, there was... Uh, so are we, we're talking pre-World War One. Yes, yes, yes. yes. 
That's yes, quite, yes. Cool. But uh, tell me about the the extraterrestrial. Oh, there was a meteorite two yes. and a half million years ago. Yes. This was research done by Arison Yure from the from a UK university, and um, it uh, hit the, the ground between Castellorzo and uh, Andifelos, Cas. Andifelos is the ancient name of. The, they also have the uh, uh, some ancient monuments there, and. Uh, it was connected before Castellorzo and, uh, and and Kass. and when the Kass, of course being in Turkey. Yes, and when it hit the, the, the ground, the meteorite it was 500 meter diameter. The impact was so great that it destroyed everything, probably in Europe and big places around Africa and, and Asia, and uh, it separated, of course, the island from the mainland, and. Uh, then, uh, if you look between Castellorzo and uh, uh, Turkey, there was uh, a group of five islands, which were the crater uh, of that uh, impact. Uh, I thank uh, Alison for making these uh, new um, uh, f findings public. It's uh, some very big uh, conference that has two papers now she's published. Uh, what's the name again? Alison Yure is her name. Alison Yure. Uh, uh, is she English? I th I th uh, this conference about uh, is, is the, the lunar and the planetary science. I don't remember exactly the name, but if you if you Google meteorite and Castellorizo, you'll find those papers uh, immediately. It's a, it's an amazing story. Uh huh. So do you have before we finish? Have you got any other amazing stories? Oh, well, Castellorizo has a blue cave, which is also amazing, and the mountain is also has some. Uh, and it's a rock. Nukes. In actual fact, it's a rock. Uh, tell me the origin of the name. Castellorzo was uh, uh, the first name by uh, Rizovuni, which is the Dodecanesian dialect, which means beside the, the mountain, and Castello the castle, so the castle which was beside the mountain. The Venetians then changed it to Castello Ruggio because they didn't know what was Rizzo, Castello Rizzo. And uh, then uh, the Italians changed from Castello Ruggio the, to Castello Rosso. Because it was occupied first by the Germans and then yes. by the Italians. The, the Italians gave the name Castello Rosso then. Uh, right, but the, right. the, the castle was not red, Rosso, uh -huh. so it didn't make much sense it was from the Ruggio. But then when it became back Greek again, then it was uh, Castello Rosso. And when did, it come, when did it come back to Greece? Uh, in the 40s, 43, uh, um, it was back to... Um, to Greece uh, okay. after the end of the war. Okay, well the war ended in 45? Yes. Okay. That's why we have the, um, there's uh, some big days that uh, are... Um, um, uh, uh, National days? Yes, no, more local days, we have also local days. Oh really? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, I'll have to look at the calendar. Well, thank you very much. Uh, hope to see welcome, you again, Kelly and Damasi, and uh, I wish you good luck, or what did you say? Uh, luck wishes you. Uh, well, what you, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should not wish uh, Padaziz good luck. You should wish uh, luck to have Padaziz. There we go, yes. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> no, bit... good luck anyway. Kalo, kalo tiki, yes? Kalitiki, yes. Yeah, kalitiki. I got it right. Okay. That's correct. Kalitiki. Yasu, yasu. Thank you.